To our surprise, the Republicans reversed their position on border security. Why the change of heart on the Republican side? The cause is very obvious and very public. Donald Trump, the putative Republican nominee for president, announced that he was opposed to the package. Republican senators who were open to it or supported it walked away from it. That was Illinois Senator Dick Durbin speaking on the Senate floor a few hours ago during a rare weekend session to debate a new foreign aid bill for Ukraine, Israel, and Indo-Pacific partners. But this bill does not address border security. Why? Because Senate Republicans caved to pressure from Donald Trump and sank a broader bipartisan deal that would have strengthened security at the southern border. The urgent need for congressional action was underscored recently when New York Governor Kathy Hochul and eight other Democratic governors signed a letter begging the federal government to lend more support to states and localities taking in migrants. New York City's burden is especially noteworthy. Since the spring of 2022, the city has taken in more than 170,000 migrants, and more are arriving every week, putting an enormous strain on local resources. And joining me now is the governor of New York, Kathy Hochul. Governor Hochul, welcome back to The Saturday Show. Thank you, Jonathan. Great to be back on your show. So, so tell us about the letter you and the eight, gov eight other governors sent to the White House and Congress. And, and would, would what you're asking for have been addressed by the bipartisan bill killed by Republican senators? It absolutely would have. You know, it basically, it was an act of desperation. We have been on the front lines dealing with this unprecedented crisis, the largest migration of humanity since World War II. And people are coming to our cities in Chicago and in Boston and particularly in New York City. So we banded together to try and plea with the Republicans in Congress in particular and say, you have the opportunity right before you. The gift has been handed to you. You've been complaining for a year and a half about this. The answer lies in that package. Can you just get that over the finish line? Do what you were sent to Congress to do and solve problems. And they basically broke it. And I say, if you broke it, you own it now. And so they own this issue. And it, yes, it would have been dramatically uh, an improvement for us here in New York. Money for our states and localities. We're in for $4.3 billion alone, not even including what the city of New York is doing. So it's resources. But just to say no more at the border until we can get this under control. President Biden said he would immediately sign it and say, stop the flow of migration at this time for now until we can just catch a breath and deal with this. So they killed it, and now they own it. So, so Governor, you know, I, I mentioned, I think, in the tease, you called this a, a suicide pact. Talk about that. Why is this a suicide pact for Republicans? Because now the Democrats have the opportunity to say, for the longest time, you've been complaining about the border. You wanted all these conditions in place. We gave you those conditions. President Biden negotiated with Chuck Schumer negotiated. Republicans negotiated. And you should have done your jobs instead of listening to the person, the only one who's in your ears, apparently, and that's Donald Trump. He did not want this to be successful, a successful resolution of this problem, because that might help Democrats, including the president, politically. And that's as crass as it is. So I said, OK, you refuse to take action. You've been complaining about it. Well, now it is your problem. So you can all band together, all of you lemmings who jumped off the cliff following Donald Trump. And now, politically, this is something you have to explain to your constituents come election time and the ads will be run against you because you refuse to do what's necessary, especially the 10 Republicans who represent the great state of New York have every opportunity even now to go down the hall, talk to Speaker, the Speaker Johnson and say, Speaker, we're going to lose our elections in these battleground seats right here through New York State and we're going to deliver a victory for Hakeem Jeffries to be the speaker if we don't reverse where the course we're on right now. They need to see that now, do what's right for our country, and stop complaining about a problem that they now are responsible for. So, so Governor, as you've been alluding to, um, there is a special election on Tuesday to fill the seat vacated by uh, the disgraced former Congressman George Santos. You're supporting Democrat Tom Suozzi uh, in this race. 
um, you've said Republicans, as I as we've been talking about now, own the failure at the border. But will this actually be a factor in this race, in the in the special election on Tuesday? I believe it will. You know, the voters are paying attention. The early voting started last weekend, and we still thought there would be some hope that the Republicans in the Senate and the House representatives would telegraph that they're willing to do what they're supposed to do. And then it all collapsed. So those who are playing, paying attention in this district, and Tom Suozzi is totally supportive of this package deal. He knows his home state of New York needs relief right now. We are so frustrated about the inability for them to get together and solve this that Tom Suozzi can now say to his opponent, you should be the one calling on the speaker and other Republicans in the body you want to serve in and make sure we can factor this in. And I'm telling you right now, if they cannot do that, if Tom Suozzi's opponent refuses to do that and she should be called out on it today, then she is also part of the problem and not the solution. Governor, let me get you on one more thing before we have to let you go. Have you ever had a direct conversation with Texas Governor Greg Abbott about his practice of busing migrants to your state? No, I've not had the, uh, the pleasure of speaking to him. All I know is it is, is a political move. He's using these individuals. These are human beings who are coming to our country, following the legal asylum process as it stands right now, and I believe should be amended, but they're following the law, and he's politicizing these people and trying to make sure that this turns into an issue against Democrats. But that is backfiring on him right now, because he is now part of the Republican Party that has listened to Donald Trump and had the opportunity to solve this right in front of them, walked away from it. I don't hear his voice right now saying, help us here in Texas, asking his members of his delegation to do the right thing, as I am doing with my delegation. Where is his voice now? We could use Republican governors who have been complaining about the border problem to step up and say to members of their own party, give us the relief we've been asking for, help us out, and pass that package. I've not heard that yet. Governor Kathy Hochul of the great state of New York, thank you very much for joining us this evening.